It's time once again to turn back the clock and take a look at Swindon from a time gone by. More Swindon through the years, comparing the images from the past with those of a modern Swindon. And this time we're turning back the clock to the 1990s. It was boom time for Swindon. Expansion, conversion and improvements, all captured by the Swindon cable cameras for the weekly news programme This Is Swindon. We now look back at some of those images, capturing a town in transition, frozen in time, in more Swindon Through the Years. Delving into the Swindon Cable Archive, we're turning back the clock to 1994. Another look at Swindon Through the Years. Is a modern view of a town centre location that shows the old and the new side by side and an area that's seen redevelopment with the old police station torn down and replaced by new buildings including this one. We're looking at the finishing touches being put to the new health centre on Fleming Way. Across the road facing the health centre what was once the Wiltshire Hotel now the Menzies Hotel. But the building we're here to take a look at is next door. It's the Fleming Way car park. The Fleming Way car park is one of the town's oldest multi-stories built in the 1960s, providing 650 parking spaces. Here's a view from 1994, filmed across what was once the car park of the old police station. Ironically, it's actually in Islington Street and not Fleming Way, and it used to provide direct access to the rear of the Debenham store, originally Bon Marche. The cars come and go in our 1994 view. For now, the Fleming Way car park lives on, but it will be interesting to see just how long it lasts when the long-planned redevelopment of the whole area continues. And whilst we're in the area, a view that would have been looking towards the side of the old police station at what was once Walker Jackson's Ford car dealership on the Whale Bridge roundabout. The site now plays host to the towering Jury's Hotel. The old underpass and roundabout have gone and the new traffic junction takes control. Across the road from a Fleming Way car park is the newer Whalebridge multi-storey car park, opened in 2013. A very different construction and style of those built in the 60s and 70s. Is another car park. This time it's the Brunel North car park and an image taken on the corner of Villet Street. Years ago Villet Street would have looked like any other Swindon Street, a row of Victorian houses. But of course it's all been swept away. Let's turn back the clock to 1994. Our view show the Phillips Street car park that was built on the site of those former houses. The residential road had already been swept away but was yet to be subjected to the enormous construction transformation that was to take place when they built the Brunel North car park just a few years later. The new building means it's almost impossible to match up the images from 1994 and even the road sign has been replaced.
It's another view of a changing town and symbolic that red brick terraced houses have been swept away, making way for another phase in the town's expansion. Swindon, this is Swindon. That was once a phrase you heard when stepping from a train and arriving in the town. Our modern view shows Swindon Station from the platforms. In fact, these views were taken in 2017, and today even more transformation has taken place now that the line between Swindon and London has been electrified with overhead wires. Our views from back in 1994 were taken on the day of a strike, with no trains running. The views clearly show the old station building still standing, and even today it plays its part in the running of a modern railway. This view shows the signal gantry. With electrification, this too has now been replaced by a more modern version. The 1960s gantry having been in place since colour signalling was introduced back in the 60s. We see a high-speed train pulling into the station, another reflection of change. They've now disappeared to be replaced by electric trains on the route between Bristol and London. In 1994, Swindon was still a stabling point for locomotives that weren't being used. Today, that stabling point has disappeared. Locomotives are much more scarce on the network, as trains tend to operate in fixed formations of carriages. Again, the winds of change blow right across the town, and often we pay no attention. Where this train was stabled on the day of the national strike in 1994, there's a new platform. Platform 4 at Swindon was reinstated to accommodate the increasing number of commuters travelling either towards London or Bristol. Here's another view of Platform 4. And the irony is that until the 1970s, there was already a platform and a stone building doing much the same job in a much more impressive way than the modern structure. It was swept away in the 1970s when the tower block was constructed. Unfortunately, it's another example that not all change is for the best. Of course, this is Regent Circus, and a view of the Town Hall, once the civic building for New Swindon. Regent Circus has been a focus for ceremonial activities across the years, including the annual Remembrance Service. These historic images taken on the 21st of March 1994 show the Duke of Edinburgh's Royal Regiment receiving the freedom of the Borough of Thamesdown. With a march through the centre, attended by the then Mayor of Thamesdown, Councillor Doring Dart. In fact, everyone who served in the regiment, from private soldier to general, was known as the Farmer's Boys. The regiment was only in existence for a few more days, as they were to be formed into a new Royal, Gloucestershire, Berkshire and Wiltshire Regiment on the 27th of April 1994. They had been formed back in 1959 and were an amalgamation of the Royal Berkshire Regiment and the Wiltshire Regiment, forming the Duke of Edinburgh's Royal Regiment and serving in frontline postings all over the world. And we're reminded that it's here every year in November that local people come together to celebrate those that made the ultimate sacrifice in the town's annual remembrance service. The 
Duke of Edinburgh's Royal Regiment marching through Swindon and into history. A part of Swindon through the years. We'll have more Swindon Through the Years coming soon, but in the meantime, please do remember, like, comment and share. We'd like to hear your memories of a changing town. And look out, more Swindon Through the Years coming soon. Music